It's a year to the day since father died. This very day, May the 5th, Arena Saints Day. It was very cold and snowing, I remember, and I thought that I could not survive his death, and you had fainted and were lying still, so still, we thought you did. And now a year has passed. We talk of it so easily. Struck twelve then, too. Oh, heaven. When I woke this morning and I saw this flood of sun, this springtime sun, I felt so moved, so happy, such a longing to go back, back home to Moscow. The world is one of the last time, forty-five minutes in the I like to keep a rest yes. of events. Ah! The unfolding of the sacred truth of our times. Of course, the sacred drama, yes. Did you know in the 20s, a guy left a suitcase full of money in a train compartment, went to have a piss, got back, found a suitcase stolen, but they left the cash? No, no, I hadn't known that. What were I headed for? Apparently. Where's that lean? Oh, Marsha, do stop whistling! How can you? I seem to think I must get these constant headaches because I have to go to school each and every day and go on teaching right into the evening. I seem to think like someone quite old, in fact. In fact, it's oh, little girls' room's papers again. <laughs> Can't help thinking that if I had stayed home and married, it would have been. I would have been. I would have been so fond of him, my husband. Ridiculous. Uh, Arlene? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, Marie? John? Hey, eh? toilet. Ah. Arlene? I don't know, Joe. The Colonel likes people here in good time. A drink? Uh, before show, eh? Professional. That's right. Are you nervous? I mean, do, do you get nervous? Flat of eyes and a tummy, sinking feeling, first night nerves, first lunch nerves, I should say. I want to change now. I'm always petrified, even in my lonely capacity, no reason, silly, in it. So I need my little drink. Okay. Oh. Oh, Alright. Uh, I'll let you be here by now, you know. Uh, piss off, child! Ella wants to change! <laughs> it must be a dose of little glass tones. Hey, the attraction. Oh, why he buzzes round you like a vulture at the end. But it's a great mystery, of course. The root for his resentment of the genteel classes. Perhaps he was bitten by one as a child. I'm not really middle class. No, not really. Insult in it! Bourgeois respectability! The working class wears overalls all day and puts on suits at night. The middle class wears suits all day and dresses up and don't do that. What a world we live in! Would that I were, Bourgeois? Respectable. Another opening, another shower. Lily! Hey, that's not. No, it isn't. I put my name on! Oh, what did you not 
us now why do they come? So, they can come, I suppose. <laughs> That's <just> frustrating. <laughs> what? Ella, what the fuck are you doing? What Ella, um, are you doing, Ella? <laughs> it's an exercise. Okay. Oh. Isn't that uh, radar, Ella? Radar? Not radar, it's uh, for my voice. <laughs> Relax the vocal cords. But you don't say anything. You forget the back chat, little Lynn. The quick responses and the robot team must have a chords relaxed to blind them with her razor sharp rejoinders, her sophisticated little quips and sophistries. I see. To what do I owe the pleasure, dear Marie? Got about the wrong bed this morning. Oh, particularly today, we're the premiere, everybody here, the foyer, brought with gay first nighters, a sea here, a social columnist, checking out the crowds for dangerous liaisons, see there, a critic shopping in his pencil, and there again, Carvey, charm of Western impresarius, offensive, no boring. and driving alphas aren't in fact just pale and insufficient substitutes for sex, but that sex is just a pale and insufficient substitute for masturbation born in alphas. Hmm? We all need our fantasies. He said he's 
going to throw me out. He said on his own he wouldn't need the money. He said he didn't need a slot to live off anymore. by our cool doorway. Yeah. You're both looking delightful. All my girls look good. We don't employ slags or tarts, but you two are especially delightful. Thanks, Colonel. Where's I mean? In the door. I had some notes to give. Just a couple of things I wanted to remind you of. Can I for you to give Eileen a replay? Sure. Just two or three small things. <clears throat> right. One. Don't forget, from the moment that you're on, you're on me. We don't want some heart stopping on, and then the number starts, and mm, suddenly she's tied a little. First sighting, vitally important. You buy them then, you sell them anything. Two. Do remember, all of us have got our strong and weak points. Emphasize the former, push your capabilities. Some of you have got good tits, and others are rather better in the derriere department. Play on strengths. And three, watch getting internal on the doubles. So you may be feeling each other up, but you're not dykes. You are merely waiting for the only man who will satisfy your lustful appetites. And who is he? He's Mr. Punter. Hey, are there many in? Oh, yes, <laughs> tourists, hot from the changing of the guard. You know, now entertainment is our major national asset, now the only thing we're still thought best at, and so, my sweetling, you are in your own way, back in Britain. Oh, relieving pressure on the pound. Mm -hmm. It's a bloody good show. Yes. I often wonder if I could have made a career in the legitimate theatre. Sometimes I'm disgusted by my work. When I find myself working with such charming, and in addition, helping my country, then I feel quite proud. And what we are doing, in a very simple, unpretentious way, is giving people a little yard of sun in all the gloom. I often feel if we could all work together, I mean, the country as a whole, if all sides of industry, the government, the people could all work together as we work together, with each other and our public, happy in our work, then we not have this mess. That's my view, anyway. I shall buy you all lunch after the show. Thanks, Colonel. Aww. My name's Alex. I don't know why you call me Colonel. Don't. I got them. I thought you were ready. We start in seven minutes. Where the fuck have you been? Get your sodding frock on. Now. to lie to me. Oh, mum! Alex, you're a cunt. 
Say that again. A cunt. That's lovely, Ella. Beautiful. Why don't you leave that shit, Marie? Why don't you leave that shit, I mean? Why don't you leave that shit, Marie? I got a line book. I got this audition. The bell you want to see my legs. Audition what for? Television. Dancing. Where's the difference? Well, I see. It's something better than this. Oh, sweet charity movie. Shirley MacLaine is a charge with a heart of pure guilt. Why are you so vicious, her and me? You make me sick, your guilt. You make you sick, your guilt. I don't. You may. I know what you're implying, but I don't. It is a reversal. Oh, switch that thing off. There is nothing wrong with my life. I'm perfectly delighted with my life. Your life, our life, is utterly degrading, tawdry, hypocritical. Admit that at least never that. No, I am in complete control. Just bit parts of other people's masturbation fantasies. Oh yes, and you're very good, Marie. The Colonel told me. Said you were his number one. Going to go a long way. Going to put Linda Lovelace to the shame, he said. You're the newest, nudist. The national masturbation fantasy. The nation observing its own intercourse. Oh, it tell no more lies. I am no more deceitful, meaningless, or cruel than what is daily said. And as you know, that believing that underneath my niggas is my promise, but the law of probability, a damn sight safer bet than crediting, that underneath those solemn calls for national interest, Britain first, that there is Anything beyond a vicious, old-fashioned urge and need to screw and every sense to screw. So, I prefer the people or the Parisian or bottoms up. I prefer the set of fold or wank or spank or slit or Ta-ra-ra-boom-dee-ay! What? Is there really a magazine called Clipped? But at least there's something underneath. Appealing, sunny, warm. Beautiful, perhaps, okay? I'm getting out. Now. No, after the show. Wait, you can't try to. After this show, I'm getting out. I didn't think I wanted to, but now I do. Well, Tara, etc. Ella. Yes? Um, the Colonel said that. Uh, I should have said, fuck off! I should have told him to his face. Where's the point in that? Uh, Ella. Yes. Oh, you're not with a word. In private. No. I don't want to say this in front of everyone else. I shan't say it now. Come on. I know you don't look at me kindly. You look on me less kindly. Alex has decided to sack Eileen and Marie. After today, he thinks they're sluts and lower the tone of the performance. Um, what about me? Oh, he thinks you're chic. He likes your accent. He says you've got class. And he said just to tell you, but you would let me. He's bringing two new girls. One of them lives with him. Lives with him. And he said to stay here and see that you were ready. Sorry, Eileen and Marie. I knew it! Last month, I was seen in Dean Street in a club performing by some bloke. He said, I've got the show I'm bringing in, a funny show, I'll lock you in it. And I said, well, yes, that's wonderful. What is it? And he said, the thing's kind of a satire on the sex toy boom. It's called a deeper throat. You don't have to worry, sing or act or anything. You just do your thing, because that did get my nuts off. I've fallen for 
but I can really make it there. And then he said, well, a year ago, I would have said that that doesn't matter because there's hundreds more like you, but now it's different. Now there's thousands more like you. You must go on. I, um, there's this big mirror in our bedroom that we like, well, he likes. Well, I like as well to, to sometimes watch us at it, in it, it. And when he was hitting me about the legs and the chest, I caught a glimpse in the mirror of me being beaten up. And I thought, hey, someone ought to stop him doing that. Keep working. I went to see a play at the uh, Old Vic Theatre. It was written 60 years ago about some national crisis then, and everyone was talking like they're talking now. No believers, drift, despair, and at the end, these bombs came down and they killed the people, and yet the audience, who were just like these people, middle class and rich and saying just the same things about the crisis, still they clapped and clapped as if, as if they couldn't see what they were watching. Well, now it's coming, so the experts say, collapse of money, national bankruptcy, uh, food riots. Read the papers much myself. Then listen.